Hey, what's up guys? MGH here and welcome to the first FIFA 16 demo video on my channel. I'll be releasing a couple more this week, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. And uh, in this video, we're going to be playing some Ultimate Team Draft mode because kickoff is a bit boring after a while. And look at that beautiful stadium. And I love the little bit of information they show you in the bottom right corner. I really like that. Um, but yeah, I played the beta and I wasn't able to talk about it, upload it, whatever. So now I'm finally able to play the game and show you guys and talk about what I think. And I really wanted to play draft in the first video. So we're going to go ahead and do that despite being a career mode channel. Um, but basically, if you don't know what draft is, you're going to find out in this video. Um, you can read that and pause it if you want to. But I'm, I'd rather explain it to you. So first of all, you get a choice of formation. Out of five options, you have to choose one. Straight away, I'm leaning towards the 4-3-3 here. Although the two CDMs might come in handy. The false nine is also very good. I'm going to go with the 4-3-3 with three centre midfielders. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And that's it. You cannot change your decision. And we have to pick a captain out of those players. Oh my god. Okay, I've decided already. I'm going with Suarez up front. And I'm hoping we can get either Messi on the right or Ronaldo on the left. Um, they, they're talking about chemistry. Everyone knows how to do chemistry. Um, so the idea is, is you pick the, the position and it gives you a choice of five players and that's it. You pick and that is the only player you'll get for that position until you do the bench. So on the right we get some very decent players there and I'm, I'm the kind of guy that would rather go for chemistry than the best ratings. Obviously you can make a choice and put the best players in your team but if your chemistry is not good they might not play well. Uh, Bacali back in the game of course now he's gone to Valencia 75 rated damn um, Feguli I'm going to use because he is in the same league as Suarez gives me chemistry on the left please give me Ronaldo you've got to give me Ronaldo please oh we get Neymar straight away he is in the team oh man that is so good the beauty of draft mode is although you need to to pay I think it's 15,000 coins to enter you get to play with players that you never usually get to play with unless you've got so much coins First midfielder, it's going to be, oh, simple choice there, Iniesta. Really happy that Jacques has got an upgrade, although his pace is still ridiculously bad. But he is a really good player in this game, I'm sure, again. Iniesta's going in, though. We're getting three Barcelona players and a Valencia player so far. Let's see who's going to be in the middle here. And it's simple again. Rakitic has to go in, and I'm going to play him on the right. Oh, we can't do that yet. I want a proper CDM in the middle, so let's see if we can get one. Oh, okay, I think... I might go with Fabregas just because he will come in handy and I've got a lot of Spanish players that I can link him up with. So I think we're going to do that for now. Um, actually, I might... Oh, this is going to be difficult. This is the problem. Do I do that and hope I get like Azpilicueta? Maybe I'll get him? We do. We get Azpilicueta, but Marcelo... I think I might do a kind of hybrid. Alaba, 85 rated. Holy mother tits. Um, Azpilicueta will obviously give Fabregas full chem. I think it's quite tempting. I'm going to do that. I'm going to build a bit of a hybrid to change things up. I don't want to build a complete team from one league. Let's get a centre-back now. Please give me Koscielny. Okay, we've got, some, we've got some really good choices here. No Barclays Premier League players, so I'm going to go with Laporte to link up with Iniesta there. And on the right side, we get Mascherano. It's a no-brainer. You've got to get Mascherano in the team. And I'm thinking maybe switching these guys around. I don't know. We'll, we'll decide in a minute. Um, and for right back, oh, simple choice again. Danilo will link up with Rakitic. So we have won two players outside of the uh, La Liga there. But now we've got a chance to fill up the bench. Now, you can ask the game to do it for you by pressing triangle or you can do it individually. So that's what I'm going to do. I need BPL players like Courtois maybe. That would be pretty nice. Um, obviously, obviously, I need Liga BBVA players. But I'm going to go with Courtois there as my backup goalkeeper. Did I not? I didn't get a goalkeeper, did I? We need to do that. Uh, we've got Clichy. Savage is a good choice. I think I'm going to go with Savage. Um, let's do the goalkeeper because I forgot to do that. And it's going to be... Oh, Diego Alves. That's going to be the perfect player to have there. Let's see who we're going to get here. Oh, we get Varane. Yeah, he's the best player there. He will go in instead of Laporte, I reckon. And, um, okay, next. Should be a midfielder now. Yes. <laughs> we get Ribery. This Danilo guy looks very decent. Coutinho don't really have a cam position in the team, so it might be worth getting Danilo. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably going to be the best choice there. A lot of people might go crazy, but I don't need Oscar. Not Oscar. Um, Coutinho. We've got some more choices here. Uh, Castro. I'll tell you what, though. It's not very good. 
Um, I'm going to take Castro just because he's probably the best player here. Although, we've got some Brazilians in the team, so he, I could link Alan up. Let's keep going along here. We get all Falcao, Remy. Jesus, we've got some good choices there. Um, I will take Remy for the pace, of course. Get the pace in there. Um, okay, who else are we get in here? We've got Aubameyang. Oh, God. Right, right. We've got back up to Neymar there. Piatti would be a good choice, I reckon. And he's in Liga BBVA. Who else are we going to get? We get to Stegen. Whoa, Munir is a 75 rated. Are you mad? That's incredible. I could go for to Stegen. Is he any better than Diego Alves? I've already got Courtois. I'm probably better off taking a backup right winger. So we'll go with Munir. We might actually play him. Why not? Uh, we get some other good players here. Backup striker with Griezmann. I think that's a good choice. Let's keep going here. We've got a few more positions to fill out. We've got Felipe Luiz. That's a no-brainer. Because uh, if I don't want to use Cesc Fabregas and Aspilicueta, I can then build a full Liga BBVA squad and get 100 chemistry. In the next ones, we get... Ooh, Turan. Turan is going to go... Ooh, and Alex Song. That's tough, guys. That is tough. I think I'm going to go with Turan and actually play him. I quite fancy trying him out now that he's joined Barcelona, of course. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how popular he's going to be in the next game. And the last choice is Benalio. Oh, okay, this one's not so good. I will take... I think Alonso would actually be a very good player, but I haven't got really anyone to link him up with. The only player that I could realistically, realistically link into this side is Alex because he's Brazilian. So we'll take him. So I think I am actually going to change my mind. And I'm going to go with a full Liga BBVA squad to start off. This uh, this first FIFA 16 demo video, so that means I need to change it around just a tad here to get full chemistry like that. I think that's probably the best we could do right now. So I'm going to do the bench as well, and then uh, we're going to get into a match. And there we go. We've got a full bench of players that we can use. This is the team, guys. 84 rated, 100 chemistry, and now it's time to do the manager. Let's see who we get. We get Van Gaal. Ah, that sucks. Well. <laughs> I'm going to go with Van Gaal. Seven Barcelona players, 17 from Liga BBVA, and seven Brazilian players. And definitely going forward, we've got a strong team there. And uh, my rating for the whole squad is 184. Five-star team. That is a good way to start. And here we go, guys. This is the first proper gameplay that I'm able to show you. So I'm really excited to get this foot draft match underway against Real Madrid at their stadium, the Santiago Bernabeu. Look at the player faces. Look at Bale. Oh, my God. They look so realistic. It obviously looks very similar to FIFA 15, but I hate it when people say that. What do you expect? Flying pigs and and cars and explosions and stuff. No, you're going to get a football game. And it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the way the camera zooms in. Oh, man. The passing and the movement is just glorious right now in this game. So I really hope they leave it like it is. Last year, when the game came out, FIFA 15, it was lovely. It was so, so good. But they patched it. And I don't know why, because it ruined it. So I'm, hope I'm hoping they won't do that this year. But we could be on the break here. Here goes Neymar down the left side. Don't forget we've got Suarez in the box. That's a handball. Surely, mate. He bloody blocked it with his arm. In FIFA 16, they have the magic spray. Look, it's still on the pitch. Here goes Barca's new boy, Turan. This is a lovely run. Over the top for Neymar. It's a lovely pass. Can he get it? Yes, he can. He's in. Pull him down. Give me a pen. Is that a pen? No. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought maybe I would have got a pen there. Could have been two so far. That's a good cross, though. And it's a goal. Turan. Holy crap. That is a really nice cross from Neymar and a beautiful headed goal from Turan. That is a fantastic finish. All of the new boots as well. Love it, man. This is really good fun. I'm not going to lie. Oh, shit. That's a good ball. Here's Bale bringing the keeper out. No, go away, Ronaldo. It's not even Ronaldo. It's, it's Benzema. He should be at Arsenal, the bastard. But that that's a really good goal. Poor defending from me. Three players I had in front of the ball there. Not one of them could get the block on it. God damn it. One all. Last attack before half time, I'm thinking here. Go on, Suarez. No, the referee's had enough. What a great first half. It's had lots of uh, interesting moments to see there, and it's one all at the moment. The game just feels so good. I really hope they don't change it. It feels great. Go on, get Rakitic through. Lovely pass. I'm going to try and chip the keeper. Okay, that was probably a bit of a silly idea, but why not try things out, you know? I've got nothing to lose. I need to try a long shot as well, guys, so we'll try and do that. Here goes Danilo. He can hit them. Let's get inside. Try a long shot. 
<laughs> that was really, really bad. I'm making some substitutions. Iniesta is going off for Fabregas and Turan's coming off for Munir. So let's see how these two subs get on in this uh, last 20 minutes or so, I think it is. Yeah, 72 minutes in already. Got Neymar. Yes, we've got him through. He's going to get there. Bit of skill inside. Lovely. Come on, try a shot. Oh, it's beautiful. Neymar with his five-star weak foot, five-star skills is going to be one of the best... Probably the best left wingers in the game. Oh, it's just stunning, man. The animations. And, oh, it's just nice. It's just nice, man. And we are winning the game again. Here goes Munir down the right side. He looks like a very, very exciting player. And it's a lovely pass to Luis Suarez. Surely he's going to finish this and make it three. He is 3-1, guys. Game over. Yep, there you go. So we've won our first game 3-1. And that was on world class, by the way. So... I, I'm finding it quite difficult on world class, so it might be when the game comes out, as we get used to it, I can then put it back up to legendary, but I think world class is about right for me, but I'm really enjoying the feel of the demo, I really do recommend you check it out guys, if you like FIFA 15, you'll like FIFA 16, it's a bit slower I would say, but it just feels better, and the passing is so smooth, so check it out, um, and thank you for watching, there'll be more to come, so don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.